Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As this video title entitles, I will be teaching you how to install Mountain Lion on an outdated or obsoleted Mac. Uh, what I figured out the other day was that Apple had allowed virtual machine VMware to virtualize Mac OS X of previous versions or future versions. Now this gave me an idea, why don't I try VMware with Mountain Lion to see if I could run Mountain Lion on my, on my Mac Pro, which is obsolete or outdated. So I looked into it a little bit and found out exactly how to do it. So I'm going to share this tip with you. I think I'm the first person on YouTube to use VMware to run Mountain Lion in, on a outdated machine. So. I'll tell you what you need. So for this operation to work, you will need a copy of OS X Mountain Lion install, as you can see here. I also have the Mavericks developer preview since I am a developer. I have the developer preview. I might go into that in a future one. Tell me if you would you'd be interested in that. Uh, so you need the Mountain Lion fresh install. If you cannot get it on your machine because it's the only one you have, and since it is outdated, you can't download it off the App Store. Try going to a friend and asking if he, if he can download it and give you a copy, or uh, if you have a computer that can run it, download it. If, uh, if you can't get it, then this, this is not going to work for you, but there's many ways to do it. People have installed disks, you can buy off eBay, all that kind of stuff. This is all you need is just the uh, developer download right here. I mean, sorry, the uh, install from AppMine off the App Store. Second thing you're going to need to do is go on VMware.com, log in, make an account, and download the VM Fusion trial or the actual thing. You buy it, it's 50 bucks. It's well worth it because you can run several machines. You can run Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS X of any distribution, and you can run it all virtually on your PC, on your Mac. Sorry. And it's about 50 bucks. Well worth it. Uh, I put my boot camp disk on there you can transfer boot camp files onto it it's an amazing little application I'm gonna going to shell the 50 bucks out to get it but right now all I have is the free version because I'm just seeing if it would work okay so when you do with that sorry let's go back you double click to install it'll put it in your applications folder put the core services and application support all that good stuff and then it's time to set up your mountain lion VMware, your Mountain Lion virtual machine. So what you do is you go into Applications, Applications, find the VMware, should be at the bottom, Xcode, XCOM, XCOM, great game, get it if you can, and start her up. Now I have my uh, top bar hidden from view because I don't want people seeing some stuff I have up there because I have some personal applications that run up there and I don't want people like seeing my notifications and stuff. Alright, so as you can see I have several virtual machines already made on this computer. I have a mountain line. Yours is probably going to be different when you first start up because there's a welcoming screen. If you just go to file new you can create it. You'll start exactly where I start. Uh, so I tried a test bit and to make sure that it would be it would work. This is just the, the console and uh, this is the actual one I tried that worked it's uh it runs pretty smooth considering it is virtualized and I dumped a whole ton of RAM in it just absolutely dumped RAM into it since I have 12 gigs of RAM on this computer I was able to uh, put six gigs in there and it runs pretty smooth I gave it two cores just to run the basic applications if you're wanting to like render video use some video editing software no 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 this is just for using the core applications, like if you want to use iMessage, you want to use Notification Center, you want to use the Notepad, you want to use Reminder Count, all the new features of Mountain Lion that does not require a lot of CPU handling because this thing, I was I have my activity monitored up right now and when I was first running it I was checking all the CPU levels and memory usage. This thing chews up a lot of CPU time. I gave it two cores, it ate up those two cores. They were being used non-stop just to keep the render. I don't know if there's any way to get your graphics card involved in this. Uh, I haven't looked into that yet. But I think if you can get your graphics card involved, that'll lower the CPU time. Because right now the CPU is crunching the graphics, which is not what it's made to do. So, um, as you can see, I have a mountain lion test. It worked. So, what we're going to do for the sake of showing you 
how to do it. You can uh, migrate your PC from your bootcamp disk, which I have bootcamp right here. Uh, you can create a new bootcamp. We're going to go new. Uh, so it's going to say this will guide you through the installing of Windows or another operating system into the virtual machine on your Mac. Please insert the installation disk you desire to operating system to continue. To use a disk image or insert an installation disk later, choose continue without disk. So that's what we're going to do. Now this is the part I didn't know until I looked it up. If you click on this, we're going to use an operating system without an installation disk or image. Click on that and let go. It'll show you everything. Now as you can see, I've already done this before. So I'm going to click Mountain Line, and it's going to take that image. I'm going to hit Continue. Uh, it's going to automatically know that this is 10.8, 64-bit, Mac OS X. It knows that. Whoops. Knows everything. Good, good, good. It'll start out with a uh, settings and everything uh, standard. You can go into here and customize everything. You can you save it. So let's save it as, yep, save it as that. I'm going to delete this afterwards since I already have one. And you can go in here and you can set up all your settings. Like you can say how much. Uh, you can use one of your hard drives. You can use existing. You can use uh, virtual hard drives. Uh, startup disk. You can set up that. Processor and memory, which is something you need to set up. You can set up how many cores, how much RAM you're going to give it. Advanced options down here. Enable code profile. Yeah, all this stuff. It's, it's, you can basically set up your virtual machine through this. All this stuff's going to be in here. 